Hey everybody, welcome back. This is the official announcement for the Nate's Gun Talk Two Gun Build Drill Challenge. Now this entire challenge will be shot on a single USPSA target. All rounds will be fired at the main A zone of the body and everything will need to be inside of that A zone to be considered a pass. There will be a total of three stages and all three stages will be shot at seven yards. So the first stage is very simple. Starting at a low ready, aimed at the feet of the target and looking over your optic, you will come up on the sound of the timer and fire six rounds into that A zone. So basically just a traditional build drill. You'll then show your time and show your hits. You will record your time because at the end we are gonna add all of these times together for a collective part time. The second stage, you'll need at least three rounds in your rifle and at least three rounds in your pistol. Once again, starting at that low ready, on the sound of the timer, you will come up and fire three rounds, transition to pistol, and fire three more rounds. Once again, you'll show the timer and also show the hits. For the third and final stage, you will no longer need your carbine, so you can disregard that for now. All you will do is perform a simple build drill with your pistol. So on the sound of the timer, you will draw and fire six rounds into the A zone, show your time, show your hits. If all the hits are clean on target and everything is inside of that A zone, you will take all three of your times from each stage and you will add those together for one collective time. The part time for this drill, the collective part time, is four and a half seconds. So anything 4.5 and less will be considered a pass with 100% alphas on the target. Now if you're already familiar with this type of challenge, you already know the drill, no pun intended. Uh, you will need to show a tape measure on the ground showing 7 yards, 21 feet, and you will need to show the target before you actually start the drill. All of this will need to be videoed in one continuous video, so no edits of any kind. Uh, it doesn't matter how long the video is, don't worry about that. I look forward to watching those videos. Uh, show the target, show the distance, back the camera up, keep yourself in frame as much as possible, and show the timer and the target in between each stage. If you're able to complete that and make the four and a half second par with a clean target, you can earn yourself one of these exclusive patches. Now there's only going to be 10 of these available, so you're going to have to be fast in more ways than one, so go out there and get after it. As far as restrictions on this drill, um, it needs to be ran with an actual rifle caliber, so no PCCs, uh, no 9mm carbines or anything like that, it needs to be an actual rifle caliber. Um, you know, if you want to run your duty gun, you want to run a race gun, I could care less. It just has to be a rifle caliber. As far as pistols go, anything 9mm or bigger is perfectly fine with me. Um, as far as holster, no passive holsters. It's got to be, at minimum, a uh, active retention holster like this Safari Land. Or, of course, you can run it from concealment if that's your jam. Um, whether you're seeing this on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook, it really doesn't matter. Just uh, go ahead and post those runs, good or bad. I'd love to see them. And of course, if you are running this for an official submission and you are trying to win yourself a patch, just send me that message, post it, tag me. Really doesn't matter. Let me check out that video. Like I said before, don't worry about the length of it. I look forward to watching it. Um, you know, don't be in a rush or anything like that when you're going between stages. If you have any hits that are on the line, be sure to show those in the video very well. Possibly take a few pictures, something like that, just to make sure that there is no funny business and it's fair to everyone involved. So that about wraps it up today, guys. I hope y'all enjoy this challenge. I hope you give it a run. I look forward to seeing all the different submissions. As always, thanks for watching. See y'all next time. All right, this is the first stage, which is just simply going to be a build drill from a low ready here at seven yards. was a 9.5. Good hits right in the middle. A time of 9.5. So this is stage two. Still here at seven yards from a low ready. It's going to be three rounds with the carbine transition and three rounds with the pistol.
that one just a little high with the rifle, but it's still in. That is a 165. All in. That one was a little high, but it's still in. And a 165. So this is the third and final stage. You won't need your rifle anymore. So this will be just a traditional build drill with a pistol. So seven yards, you're all in six rounds. That is a 157. There is the target. So that is going to be a clean run. Uh, I quickly did the math on that and my total time collectively was a 417. Uh, we should have 18 shots here total. So nine pistol, nine carbine. We'll start with pistol. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now carbine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that is a clean run. And there is that final 157 with the pistol. And if you stuck around this long, first off, thanks. Um, I just wanted to give a little bit of backstory of why the two-gun bill drill and why I did the challenge the way I did. Obviously, the first and last stage of this challenge, they are just simply a traditional bill drill. Uh, really, what makes it different is you've got to do all three of those things together and that collective part-time. It's kind of what makes it an actual challenge, and it's what makes it difficult, in my opinion. Um, but the reason I wanted this to be centered around a bill drill at its core is the build drill will always be special to me. Now I know in the days of Instagram instructors, the build drill is way overshot. I'm guilty of probably shooting it a little too much myself, but the build drill was really that line in the sand to me when it comes to shooting standards. It was the first real set of standards that I understood and that I actually pursued to put in the work to be able to pass and surpass and do it consistently. And so that's why I wanted this challenge to be centered around that bill drill. It's just a really special drill, at least to me. Uh, also, the reason that I only did 10 patches for this challenge is hopefully that's going to allow me to do more of these challenges in the future, if that's something y'all would like. Um, I could have done, you know, 25, 50, 100, or even unlimited patches, um, but that would have obviously been a lot more expensive, and I wouldn't have been able to do more of these in the future. So what I'm hoping to do, if this challenge works out and y'all enjoy it, I'm going to do more of these exclusive challenges, uh, some maybe with carbine, some with pistol, some with a combination of two, like this one, and I will do limited numbers of patches for each of those challenges. Uh, it probably will generally be between 10 and 25 patches, just depending. They probably will be pretty spicy, so the part-times aren't going to be necessarily easy, but they will be achievable. On this particular challenge, I've been working on this one for quite a few months, probably about six months at this point. Um, and I've passed it dozens and dozens of times. It's absolutely achievable if you put in the work, but it's not going to be easy. Um, and it's not going to be something that a novice is going to just walk up and run. And if it was, it really wouldn't be a challenge now, would it? Anyway, I just wanted to add in the backstory behind this challenge and mention that I will be doing more of these if this one goes over well. So this is the actual end of the video, even though that was the end of the video, this is really it. So I hope y'all have a good one. Go out there, get after it and earn yourself a patch.